guys, what is up? It is your girl Tosca. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night, whatever time you're watching this. Um, this is a requested video on Chloe and Hallie. And a shout out to Mello for requesting this video. Thank you so much, Mello, for your comments, your positivity, and I will continue making these videos. So, thank you so much. Um, I do get my cats tomorrow, you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. And I know it's a commitment, you know, for better or for worse, right? <laughs> so, I get two cats. So I'm super, I'm stoked, I'm stoked about it. Alright, oh I forgot to do the bowl. If you guys want a personal reading, please email me. Um, the first one, I can do up to three questions, and then I have another monthly one that is up to ten questions per month. So let me know what you guys are interested in. Email me, um, it's in the description box below. And I will get back to you with all the details on that. All right. Um, all right. Let's get started, you guys. Okay, Chloe and Hallie are sisters. They are originally from Mapleton, Georgia, which is not too far from here. It's about 20 minutes from my house. Um, and then they moved to LA. And um, they're singers. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they got big from YouTube. And um, they, they went on world tour with Beyonce. So these girls are they, they're fantastic. I, I, I like them. I think the oldest is Chloe. And she's a cancer, I believe. And the youngest is Hallie, and she's a Aries. And I don't know how they get along, but cancer and Aries don't normally get along. So. I'm an Aries, so you already know. Tantra of 639 Hertz. I'm hearing their voices. I'm hearing like singing, practicing singing. And then you got perfume of Sophia Beautiful. They're working on a, um, they're not really as famous as they would like to be or insta-famous as they would like to be. Um, but I do feel like these girls are very talented. Like they have the voice, they have the looks, they have the aesthetics. And um, I feel like there's a lot of people, like people who know them are like all over them, like crushing all over them. There's also solo careers going on. I feel like there's some solo endeavors here. So let's let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at what's going on. I am using my Sun and Moon tarot deck. 
I will do one spread for Chloe and one spread for Hallie. And then I will do a third spread for their career and whatever else comes up. Alright? So this one's going to be for Chloe. These girls are psychic. A little bit psychic. They have a little bit of a gift of an ability here. And I feel like th their ability has helped them kind of gain traction and gain f some kind of fame. So, so what's going on for Chloe? This is Chloe. I feel like she was supposed to be... She was supposed to be on a, um, on a movie, or she was filming a movie. Could be a Disney movie. What's going on for Chloe? Again, I'm not doing um, readings on people that you feel like should go together because I'm that's too much for me. All right, so for Chloe, we got the King of Swords, Three of Cups, Prince of Pentacles. Emperor Aries energy doesn't have to be, but Emperor is Aries. You got the Three of Wands, Five of Wands, a lot of fire here, Princess of Cups, and the Four of Wands. I feel like she's not really, um, to be honest with you, I feel like she's not, she might be like practicing singing or doing coaching singing, but I don't see her like recording anything at the moment. I feel like, I feel like, um, I feel like she's trying to do something outside of music right now. It could be acting. It could definitely be acting. That's not far removed. I also see that... I don't know if she's dating anyone, but I also see that there's love in her life. Or at least coming her way. She is a Cancer, so... Four more cards, please. What does the universe have to say for Chloe? Three of Swords? Yeah. She's going through something. I feel like it's personal. It's a personal thing. Eight of Cups. There was a fight here. Two of Wands. And the Six of Swords. There was, um, I feel like it could have been a breakup. It could have been a painful ending. It, he, she could have been dating someone for a while, maybe for like a year or two. And. It didn't really work out like there was a lot of sadness here there's a lot of blaming I'm getting a lot of blaming so I don't know if she's dating please tell me if 
there were rumors of her seeing someone or dating someone. Um, right now, I really see her trying to, trying to live her life. She's probably not really in the best mental place, but she's trying to live her life. What's going on with Chloe? You got the horror font. The high priestess again I'm getting like those sisters those two sisters have a connection when it comes to they could be telepathic I was gonna say telepathic but the star the hanged man and the King of Pentacles. This could have been someone that she thought would be her husband, but it didn't really pan out that way. I mean, it happens, right? Um, I feel like there was also there's also this thing where they're kind of like she's kind of like. I wanted to do more with my life, but I feel like there was like a, it was almost like a limit was set to her. To, it could be for both of them, they could have been like, okay, well we can't really make it to the big leagues, like we're not as famous as we would like to be, but we, we're gonna just have to be okay being like right here. I want to be here, but we're just right here. Like, they put a cap on how big they would be. Because, to be honest, I didn't even know who they were until this video was requested. I see... Give me one card. What is she doing for work right now? Six of Pentacles. Again, she feels like she could have done more with her successes. Like, she could have done... She feels... I don't want to say betrayed, but it could have been very well. Like, look what happened to Kesha, you know? Now, Kesha was a different story. Like, she was was raped. Straight up raped. Like, and she came out and said and she was like, my label, it was all about that, and... And I didn't have any rights to my music, and that was that was her problem. Like that was her issue. Now with these girls, I feel like they are successful, but I feel like there was a cap to that success. Like they couldn't do more. You know. One more card for Chloe. And she knows, she knows that they're good. Prince of Wands. Yeah, and change. I feel like there could be a change, a shift in how they approach their career. And there could also be a shift in how they, um, You know, I feel like I feel like they care too much about the opinions of others that they resist. They don't they end up not changing or evolving as artists. So I feel like she might actually change the tra the way they do music or she might just shift from music to something else. They care too much about the opinions of others that they don't real that she doesn't really it, it she's she limits herself in that kind of way. Like she's successful for sure, but 
anything else for Chloe. Ten of Cups. I do feel like she is going towards a relationship or she is just breaking up right now and she's moving to another um, she could be getting in, involved with someone else. I I do see love here. I have a strong feeling of like love. And I feel like there was a lot of fighting. There could again, there could have been cheating involved. There could have been like painful words that were said, but she's not focused on music currently. She's not focused on her art right now. I think she's taking a lot of things personally and she she's a, up and down up and down like peaks and valleys like <sighs> one more card why the ten of cups why the ten of cups yeah princess of she wants to go back to singing, and she knows she's a very good singer, but, I mean, and I also see, like, Disney, like, she could have been on, like, Disney movies, or she could have been, like, an actress, but for some reason, things just didn't fall into place for her, and again, it's almost like she limits herself in terms of her career, so... That's for Chloe. That's what I got for Chloe right now. At least for right now. Okay. What is going on for Hallie? Hallie. She's in Aries, March 27th, I believe it's her birthday, and it's also a birthday of one of my really good friends. Holly. Prince of Wands. of pentacles seven of swords king of pentacles right off the bat I feel like something happened here about her money with her manager Sometimes people in production are full of shit. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. Three of Pentacles, Princess of Wands. She's very fiery. She's very fiery. Fire, fire, fire. Queen of Wands. The High Priestess. The devil, the universe, princess of swords. This girl is a very, one more card please, she's very um, prince of cups. She knows what she's doing when it comes to like manifesting. She knows what she's doing when it comes to co-creating. She knows what she's doing. Um, she believes that wealth should come from other sources. Like that single isn't going to take her very far. So she needs to get, she needs to do something else. So she'll, she's very entrepreneurial is what I'm getting. 
strong entrepreneurial energy. She will look at her options. She will look at, oh, maybe I can start this. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can start making jewelry. Maybe I can start doing this, that, X, Y, and Z. Like, she, she's all about her money. I feel as though something happened. I don't know what detail this is. I don't know how accurate this is. But there was something that happened between her and her manager about a contract. It could be about a contract. It could be about a project that they were supposed to do that fell through. Disney. I feel like it's Disney. It's a Disney movie. Ariel, like she was supposed to be Ariel or something, or like, or like, um, or like the little mermaid, something about a mermaid. I'm seeing a mermaid, but that something fell through, like it didn't really go the way, it didn't pan out the way it should have. And things happened behind closed doors, they didn't really let her know what the hell was going on, they just kind of like. Well, you know, we're just going to back out of this. You know how media companies are right now. Like, they'll just back out of anything just so they'll, they'll save face. What's going on for Hallie? The full... Three of one. She's not real lot again. With her, the younger sister, she doesn't she's not gonna rely on her music to carry her through. Like she will say, okay, maybe that single might be good for right now, and then it might carry me for the next maybe two or three years, but it's not gonna be there forever. It's not like gonna be my retirement plan. So justice I feel like they are gonna start recording again or she might start doing like a solo career they have a very like silky smooth kind of voice like um, like it's very sexy <laughs> I'm getting sexy vibes right now yeah, oh my <laughs> sexy vibes, ace of wands. Mm, a lot of passion. I feel like something went wrong somewhere. And obviously everyone with with all of us, you know, things go wrong all the time. But I feel like they didn't think things through. Um, they just knew that they were going to make it big and like sing with Beyonce and whatever. And then, yeah, they didn't think things through. They just went for it. Eight of Wands. Why the Eight of Wands? Yeah, Five of Swords. Something happened here, and I like, please stop me if I'm wrong, but something happened with their career where, again, it limited them. And this girl is like, let me look at my other options. Let me think creatively and start my own business, start my own this, start my own fashion line, jewelry line. Let me get creative because I know that I'm getting duped that's what I'm getting getting duped like they didn't follow through with what they offered her and I feel like they were offering her like mil like a good amount of money millions could could have started in the millions or at least a million but it didn't really end up that way Because you got the wealth card. 
Seven of Swords, and then the ending card is the Five of Swords. Something happened. And they don't they don't talk about it, they don't share it, they don't say anything. Alright. I do see them doing solo albums or at least a solo single right now. Um, eventually they will do a solo single, maybe a holiday single. That's what I'm seeing, something like that. So what's going on for Chloe and Holly and their career as a group? They're taking um, co um, voice coaching. They're trying to um, They're trying to take more lessons in terms of voice and singing. Six of Swords. They're, they could be. They could be moving. Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. I think this is I think this is really about their work. I really do and there's like king of pentacles I feel like there was a um, one thing that they're trying to they're noticing right now is um, saving money and they realize how quickly money can go the four of cups I really feel like either one they missed out on a great opportunity window or two an opportunity ended because of something happened social media happened social media will always kill the vibes the hanged man seven of wands yeah going on for Chloe and Hallie. Six of Pentacles. Now it came out in reverse, but Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about their work and their career. They, they re see, they really feel stuck. They want to keep going with this whole music thing, but I feel like they feel stuck. Like, the music industry tends to do that to new artists or to growing artists. Two of Cups, Five of Cups, disappointment, yeah. It's almost like there's nothing we can do. They feel like there was nothing that they could do to it's not their talent that's the issue. It's who they signed with that's the issue. Two of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands. Yeah, I still I still feel like eventually they're going to do like a movie. Someone's going to do a movie eventually. I see in the next maybe two years. So by 2024. Give me 
three cards. Where is their current energy right now? Where is their current energy as of right now? One more card, please. Yeah. Okay. Justice. Three of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. There's something legal here. It could have been a legal battle. It could have been something that happened here. But I feel like right now they're not... It's not that they're... Well, I'll say it like this. Um, it's kind of like running a business. If your business is, is, if your business is stagnant, your business is dying. Right now, they want to work. They want to show what they're made of. They want to show the world what they can do. But right now, I feel like they're just like, flatlining a little bit on terms of their work. They're just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do now. It's kind of like you've done everything you can and then there's nothing else that you can really do. So you have to look at other sources to make this happen. Give me one more card, please. Out. As of right now, again, I feel like they feel stuck. They feel like they've done too much and they've done enough. And then it's like there's like a cap. And I really feel like they really want it to be like a Destiny's Child kind of thing or like a like a um like Beyonce I think that was one of their role models was Beyonce and it's like we we can never make it to that to that height of being like Beyonce hell I even think they might actually want to do um work with Megan the Stallion or um or Lizzo, or maybe like Cardi B, but again, like I feel like they they have all these ideas of doing things, and then it's just like no, we're not. Like, <sighs> and so right now, like they're making the decision currently. From what I'm seeing right now, is that they're just. We're not doing anything right now. They might... I do see, like, a holiday kind of, like, single or something like that. But they might do a few commercials here and there. But I don't see anything like, oh, they... they you know, they made a full new, new album, you know. Or they... And I feel like they wanted to work with, like, Kanye. Even, like, Kanye West and all these different people, but for some reason, these opportunities just seem to not go for them. I, I don't know why. And it's not their, again, it's not their talent. I think it's management. I honestly feel like it's management. Right now, they might just be enjoying their summer. Um, you got Abundance, the Three of Cups. You got the Sun. And you got the Fool. Yeah, I feel like they're just trying to like hang out right now. They're just maybe get, taking a vacation. They're not really doing anything in terms of music, from what I'm seeing. Um, let 
me one card. Outcome of their career. Actually, give me three cards. What is the outcome? I'm going to do another spread. Outcome of their career. So I'm going to do one more spread. What is the outcome for Chloe and Hallie's career? I definitely see them going solo. They might come back together and do a couple of projects together, but I do see a solo going in. What is the outcome of Chloe and Hallie's career? Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups. They have a decision to make. Six of Wands. You know, um, in the music industry or even in the acting industry, for women it's very difficult to negotiate the contracts. We, especially for women, we always um, sell ourselves short in terms of contracts, in terms of negotiating um, pay. Okay, you got the Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Five of Wands, the Universe, and Eight of Pentacles. We we often, especially females, because we feel like we should we are paid less than men, so we often, just in general as women, will go into contracts thinking we are undeserving for X amount of money, you know. We can all work with you. Okay, like let's say the contract for a million dollars. Well, I'll work with you if I can make you know six hundred fifty thousand. Like that, we a lot of women will sell them, themselves short. Um, and I'm gonna do another video on this, but when you get emotionally involved with a partner. And all of a sudden, your assets are with him and, and vice versa. And you don't have a backup plan. It's over. It's over. Um, I feel like for them, for the two girls, they're going to have to make a, a valid and logical decision about their career. What they intend to do. They need to, what I would say, if I was talking to them right now, I would say talk to some lawyers. I would say talk to some counselors. Like, I don't like the word life coaches, but they should talk to someone who can actually give them a trajectory. Because I feel like they don't really know what they want to do now. That's what I'm getting. Eight of Cups and the Five of Wands. Like, I feel like they, they're going to have, someone's going to have to walk away because I feel like there was, um, I don't see fighting between the sisters. It could have been between the sisters, but I really see fighting between them and the label or whoever they're signed with. Because I feel like they were promised with the universe and the Six of Wands. I feel like they over-promised something for them. And they didn't make it a reality. Yeah, sure, they're famous on, you know, they got views. they got, But they're not, like, famous, famous. They're not, like, a household name, you know. I feel like someone here over-promised and under-delivered. 
And then you got the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like, what do we do now? I, I, I can't figure this out. Like, you see how these people are? And one is kind of like laying down on like on the ground. Like I feel like that's their career. Like, yeah, they've gone to the Grammys. Yeah, they've seen the people. Yes, they've toured with Beyonce. Yeah, they've experienced the life. But now what? Now what do we do? It's like you promised us that we would get contracts in movies, in this, in that, and projects. Where's that? Where is it? Where is it? Three more cards. What's going on for Chloe and Hallie? You guys. <laughs> I'm going to do a 2 a.m. talk tonight. Because I think you guys really like it. So I'm going to do it. Okay. The star in reverse. Again. Like, they had the chance of, like, fame and being known, but it's, like, the star in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Failure. They don't feel like a failure. They just feel like there were opportunities that were promised that never were, was delivered. Temperance in reverse. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to have to make a, a serious decision, a logical decision about what they should do about their career. I feel like if they do keep on doing music, they're going to be doing singles. They might, again, they might do some small projects together, but something went wrong here. Something, something went really wrong. Give me one more card for their career. Four of Wands. Maybe one of them might be getting married. Could be the oldest one. Or thinking about marriage. This could also mean... Like this was a setup. This was a setup for us to start our lives on our own and then, you know, just keep going that way, you know. These guys, these girls don't really, they're not really, they have money, they have enough money, well, more than enough money, but, you know, that money can disappear very quickly as you all know as you all know those who have won yeah the hanged man came out again it's like they don't know they feel stuck they feel like nothing has really come through for them so I'm hearing they're hanging by a thread so Again, it's not their talent. I think it's an inside job, like people who were around them that made this happen. So I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if this is if this relates. If it doesn't, um, I don't know. That's this is the energy I'm getting from them. So. All right, you guys, have a great night. I'm going to do a 2 a.m. talks, and I hope you guys are having a great night. Bye.